Hi, my name is Rita Brent, and I can't wait to show you around my hometown of Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson is the city with soul. You'll see. Let's go. It's Sunday morning in Jackson, and you know what that means. It's time for church. Fellowship can be found all around town, but it's Jackson's deep roots to gospel music that can make any given Sunday a spectacular event. Time for me to get warmed up. Me, 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 me. I want you to know that God is keeping me. God is keeping me. God is keeping me. It's Marva McKinley, my favorite gospel star. Thank him. God is keeping me. God is keeping me. Sing it. Being a member of the internationally renowned Mississippi Mass Choir, she always inspires. Not only do they travel the world spreading the gospel, they have hit after hit under Jackson's own legendary record label, Malico. Man, if I could only be a member. So what you think about church? Church was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Like I said, yeah. I knew you could sing, but I didn't know you could sing. Yes, now I'm hungry. Me too. What you want to eat? Uh, how about Big Apple Inn? I'm cool with that. Pig is sandwiches on me. I don't know about that. What about the smoked sausage? No, the pig is sandwiches. <laughs> you got to try it. Merck and I head over to the historic Ferris Street District. This street has been the center of African-American culture for over 100 years. My friend Gino Lee runs the classic Ferris Street favorite, Big Apple Inn. Gino! Rita. What's going on, baby? How Nothing are you? What's going on? Hey, this yeah. is Merck. What's going on? Merck, what's up, man? Welcome to the Big Apple. Hey, thank you. Man, if that grill could talk. Now this place is just filled with history. All right. right. Y'all got all settled in? Yes. yes. Everything good? Yes. Very much satisfied? Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh... One too hot for you, was it? No, no. <laughs> just a little bit just of spice a little on bit. You know, I was just telling Merck a little bit about Ferris Street and all the wonderful history that lives on this street. Let me tell you, Ferris Street is the street. In fact, it's often called Little Harlem. Mm -hmm. In fact, Ferris Street is the largest intact African-American historic district in the United States. Yeah. Now, yeah. I heard that Megger Evers used to work upstairs. Is that true? He did. Wow. He did. That's, that's neat. And the reason why, they say, his brother said the reason why he had his office down here when he was field secretary for the NAACP was because Ferris Street was safe. This was a place where African-Americans could, could gather and they felt safe on this street because it was all African-American. Mm -hmm. you, you guys need to go see a friend of mine. Who's that? Pam Jr. at the Smith & Robertson Museum. Oh. Oh, I bet you've never been. Yeah, figures. Well, oh, I'm going to take him. I'm going to take That's him. That's good. Rita, Thank come back you. and see us, okay? Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Mark, come see us again, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll have those extra hot piggers waiting on you. <laughs> okay. Okay, brother. All right. We'll see you. Mm -mm. Come on, you. I'm still hungry. Look, you've had enough to eat. It's time to get our history on. Pam Jr. Hey. Hello. Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you. Too. I told Mark that he needs to get educated and that you were the right person to educate us. So do you mind giving us a tour? I'm the right person and welcome to Smith Robertson Museum and Thank Culture Center. Me. Excellent. I'm Come excited. On. The Smith Robertson Museum and Cultural yeah. Center is a really special place. Opening its doors for the first time in 1894, it was the first public school built for African Americans in Jackson. Now, whenever I hear about Smith Robertson Museum, there's a name that always comes up, Richard Wright. Exactly. And of course, he became famous too and wrote all these wonderful books. Yeah, yeah. Richard Wright went to school here. Yeah. He was valedictorian of his class, graduated in 1925. Now filled with thought-provoking exhibits, it gives us a better understanding of the African-American experience in the ever-complex Deep South. You guys, come on. I want to show you something special. Pam Jr. is a wealth of knowledge, and we continue our educational tour learning more about one of Jackson's most heroic civil rights leaders. Mega Wiley Evers, the field secretary for the NAACP, because you're out there with the people. Mm -hmm. 
he and Merle moved to, to Jackson, Mississippi, where they had their office on Ferris Street, just where you guys were. Medgar Wiley Evers was a true civil rights soldier. He tirelessly worked to overturn segregation and to secure voting rights in the black communities. His battle for social justice will live on with the new civil rights and Mississippi history museums in downtown Jackson. I'm so excited because I can announce that I am the new director. Wow, of high the five. civil rights museum here in Mississippi. Awesome. Yeah. Yes, and it's going to be a wonderful homage to all the civil rights veterans who were the soldiers here in Mississippi. Pam offers to take us to the Evers home. Uh, we we can't pass up this opportunity. Pam, lead the way. All Let's right. go. <laughs> all right. And I'm Minnie White Watson, and of course. This is the Mega Evers Historic House. Now a National Historic Landmark, the Mega Evers home is a fascinating look not only into the life of this courageous civil rights leader and his family, but it is a time capsule for the middle class African American life in the 1960s. He said, I started talking about two things that I knew would make a difference in their lives, voting and education. Tour guide Minnie Watson is a great teacher. Sharing with us the details of Mega Evers' early life and career, Merck and I soak it up. Medgar Evers was brutally assassinated in his driveway June 12, 1963 by a white supremacist, Byron De La Beckwith. Beckwith had been hiding across the street waiting for Medgar to get home. He fires with a 30 yard 6 Enfield rifle and the bullet catches Meg in his back under his right shoulder, goes through him, through the last pane of the window, through the wall, that's the bullet hole in the wall, you go into the kitchen, you're going to see where it exited. Took them 31 years to find Byron De La Beckwith guilty. Well, I don't know, this might be odd, but do y'all mind if we pray really quickly? Yeah. Standing in the Evers carport, my heart feels heavy. We join in for a prayer to pay our respects. Medgar Evers' sacrifices have directly impacted my life, and because of brave activists like him, my life is full of wonderful opportunities. I am forever grateful. Are you nervous or are you getting nervous? I'm very nervous. I get it from my mom. My mom is nervous like that. And so she's out there right now texting me, talking about she's nervous. Instead of telling me it's going to be all right, baby. She's like, I'm nervous. Thanks, mom. But as soon as I tell that first joke, that's usually when I completely loosen up. Nearby, Johnny T's Bistro and Bar is a great place to indulge and celebrate special events. The vibe is always right, and with their delicious menu and late hours, it never disappoints. All right. Hey, you enjoying yourself? I am. Good. It's time to go home. Come on, relax. We gotta have fun. Yeah, I'm not. No. Come on. Don't you wanna dance? I'm about to dance. <laughs> yes. Last stop on Ferris Street, F. Jones Corner. Now this place is the real deal. Always with an eclectic crowd, good drinks, and live music, it certainly is a true Jackson gym. You don't ever have to worry about getting here too late. In fact, the later, the better. Time slips away when you're having fun, and this little blue juke joint knows exactly how to give you that. It's a blast. I thought we were just going to chill and go to church. I thought I was going to be on the couch for the rest of the night. So let's go get some drinks. What a cool day. Believe me, in Jackson, you really can fit it all in. From church to civil rights to comedy and live music, you'll never want to waste another Sunday on the couch again. Talking about my city.